tonight on Eorzean Hoarders. Wesk faces off with a hoarder who seems to be hiding more than she is revealing. Are you hiding something? I'm hoping this is as deep as your housing storing goes. Can he cut through to the secret of this problem, or will it remain a mystery until the end of time, or the end of their inventory space? I can't know for sure because you didn't show me at all. The secret rescue mission begins right now. Welcome to Eorzean Hoarders. I'm your host, Wes Galber. I'm here to save the inventories and the lives of adventurers all around Eorzea. Those of you suffering from chronic hoarding are being crushed, but hope is not lost. Together we can conquer your hoarding, and for all you watching, pay close attention and you too might be set free. Tonight we visit Carmina, who seems to only want to show me part of their inventory. There's a few missing important pieces that may tell a deeper story. Let's see if we can't use what I was given to save the day still. Let's begin with the inventory. The most obvious and easiest fix is the materia. Nobody is melding that often that they need to have materia on them at all times. This is an easy choice to put all of this on your retainers. Once room has been made to store it all at least. That's a lot of room you could have for mid-craft projects or major gathering projects, assuming you do any of those. Speaking of gathering, What's with all these crafting materials and just random stones? One piece of granite, five ore here, five ore there, a single ingot of different kinds. Were you in the middle of a craft project when you took this? Most of this is easy to just sell off with no issues. None of this is... Why do you have all of this? It's so random, seemingly no pad in between any of it. At the very least, you could be making some minor profits off this random stack of stuff. One of those is dragon leather, right? I bet that's a pretty penny alone. The leather are the only pieces that wouldn't take just seconds to reobtain or even massively expand on from a gathering session. When you really need to start a craft project, it's very easy to collect what you need if this is all you're storing. Look at that, we've cleaned up so much room already. Though what brought you here to begin with? You don't just sit on this many items for no reason, right? Or are you really just stuck in a hoarding mentality of, I might need it soon, and it's just sitting there? I really don't know what to tell Wesk. I just ended up with things like that after doing a project here or a craft there. I couldn't really say why I was carrying all that on me. Well, that aside, we can clean up a little bit more here. All these different potions and such. Cordials are obvious. The intelligence and mind potions I assume you rate as those two both? Maybe swapping back and forth within your static or pugs? Why these few potions here though? Are they used for anything? This is so few, it can't be part of raiding, can it? And these two are no quality. I'm also not sure what these 26 things are. Durability drought? It's next to some tea for crafting obviously, but... Hmm. Make sure you're taking advantage of these, though I do assume you brought these for raiding? if that's what they are. Finally, what are these tools here for? They belong in the armory chest, so no accidents like selling off what you want to keep for, say, leveling to 90. If this is old gear you don't intend to keep, just get rid of it. I could see this being you keeping them for spirit bonding, but still, I'd want to keep them in the armory. Now the second page, looking a very much more crafted inventory space. So much Aether Sand, some Alkahests and Waters, Still stuff I'd normally keep on a retainer, since I won't be crafting just on a whim. I'll prepare for it, sit down and focus on it, though with music or videos on the side. Then also once again, of the other random craft materials, how much are you really using? You only have a 14 lavender as the highest flower, 55 for what I think are almonds, but how many of these are useful to you? Soon to be used at all? One or two of every item tends to not be too useful, and then they're not that hard to gather up an item or two you're missing. Very few things are all that rare. I would also recommend to you, sell off those eight gold sacks to the Domen Enclave. You can double their worth and make space. Also be rid of Abyssos items because, well, are you using them at all? You have books I see, so I assume you're raiding? Though I'm not privy to the full extent there. If you actually can use the unsung blades, sure, but I feel like your book gains means you at least don't need unsung blades. Finishing your inventory, we have 18 sacks of... 
something. Not quite sure. Figure out what those are and be rid of them if they're not useful anymore. Which I can guarantee is the case of those 11 Moogle tombstones. Something about these. These things attract many hoarders, but you can't get them anymore. Spend them or toss them. You won't get more. Ever. Alright, that wasn't too bad overall. The solution is just obviously to stop having random rocks in your inventory. Not that they got there for any simple reason. Your saddlebag, meanwhile, tells a new story. The story of not being here. Are you hiding something? I'm here to help. Hiding pieces of your inventory just seems suspect. My, my chocobo was in the shop. Yeah, that's it. I just didn't have my chocobo on me. He was busy. So I guess I better move on to your retainers then. Which leads to another problem. Be it by accident or on purpose. You did not give me your full retainer inventories either. Are you sure you want my help? Or are you so lost in what I'm not seeing that you missed what pictures you needed? If it's the latter, then you really need to get to work. We need to clear this stuff away. This episode sponsored by YouTube.com slash at Wesk Gaming. Want to know why Yakuza is a cool franchise? Want to know why Like a Dragon is a bad game? Come watch Wes Galba give his opinions and catch some playthroughs. Maybe some Sonic Frontiers and Harvestella. Wes Gaming, where hot takes go to live. Before the break, Wesk discovered a couple issues with Carmina's submission. Missing pieces, be they hidden on purpose or lost within the mounds of trash. Can Wesk save Carmina without the full picture? I'm going to do what I can, but I want to point out this first and foremost. What should have been part of your second retainer is a slightly cleaned up version of your first retainer's second page. What you cleaned up, I can't even say, because the first page only shows the pre-cleaned version. As such, I'm going to have to just ignore this and assume the first page is fully a mess. Though it kind of is. I'm going to mostly ignore all these materia. I suggest some sort of sorting, but otherwise putting it all in retainers is the right call. Put the rest of the materia from your inventory here too. We can take care of some of this though. The non-Endwalker battle materia can be chucked. Market it, vendor it, whatever. If your jobs are all max level, you have no use for it anymore. Craft and gather materia of low levels can rarely be useful, but battle materia, no. I see a bunch of relics here, but you also have a bunch of other stuff. A low level Dark Knight sword you probably shouldn't keep. The relics are okay, but what's that red mage weapon and the sage ones? Glamour? Why not the glamour dresser? Same for all these headpieces. This mask was probably just for storage and can be trashed, but all these? They're outright glamour. Oh, and this earring too. These rings are what makes me think that none of the actual gear is for glamour. You can't really see rings, and they belong in the glamour dresser if anywhere. Armor and dresser are key for properly glamming yourself. Put them in, or trash them. It's not worth keeping, nor are these squad potions. Or these tea, I bet. Seems very out of place here, which tells me it just got dumped in here. Sell it off. Moving on to the next page is a little bit more materia, but these are fine. However, more crafting items that don't seem to be in use is not quite fine. So few of each item. You could gather a much bigger stack in less time than it would take to put it on the market. Bogia coins. Are you going back to Bogia? For relics? For the duels? For the content itself? This isn't all too many coins stored, so it's not all too useful without Bogia being something you want to return to soon. It's not quite hard to get plenty of coins. Now, we have some housing items and... are those seeds? I see you have 10 million gil, so you can easily get an apartment. The seeds, meanwhile, what are these? They don't seem like flower seeds, so you must be preparing for gardening, right? You either already have a house to be making use of all of these, or you just don't need to have them. That Ultima Weapon standee is also pretty cheap last I checked. I'm hoping this is as deep as your housing storing goes. We all know how bad the housing market is here, so putting all your hopes on getting one is... not the greatest idea. And a very easy way to just fall under the weight of your inventory. Stick to an apartment if you want to survive with your inventory. 6.3 is likely your last shot at a house for a very long time. This section? I'm not sure what all this is. 
The tickets I'm sure are fine, but the clusters you might as well turn into materia. If those are the relic ones, wow that's surprising. I've not seen any other obvious relic stuff here, so why these? Were those bags in your main inventory also for relics? Shouldn't put it in multiple spots. That's how you start to lose stuff. Make sure it's all together, and know for sure you intend to do more relics. Next we have all these music sheets. I'm going to take a guess that... This three stack in specific is Riptide. Is it Riptide? Do tell us all, because I'm feeling like that Riptide is in there. I, uh, I think Riptide is in there. I'm, I'm sure it is. I just don't know which. I just didn't think paper could be a problem. Regardless of where Riptide takes a place here, when you have six of the same music roll, you're not making a good choice. You're obviously not crafting them, and they're more than likely all worthless on the market. Pick a vendor and start handing them away. A passion for music is one thing. This goes a bit too far. I bet Alex Mukala has less ripped pages lying around. These feathers here, given there's the rainbow ones here, I'm assuming these are both the PvP wings. Just toss them. I'm pretty sure they don't even work anymore. They have no use. Toss them, and all these fireworks too. You're not planning to use them ever, I promise you that. The exact numbers which says you've not even used a single one. 30, 10, and a max stack 99. Just let them go, or start using them. And if you've not used them yet, I doubt you ever will. Finally, we have half of your second retainer. This shows a lot of the same issues as your main inventory. A bunch of random rocks not even made into ingots. These are easy to just sell off. As are the singular ingots and logs and threads. When you're carrying so few items, it doesn't seem like you're prepared for crafting, even if it's for just in case. You need two, three, or even four of something to use in a craft. A single piece of leather usually doesn't get you far. Your cooking ingredients look a bit more full and actually potentially in use, but I would need much deeper info. That one chop can be tossed safely, I'm sure. That one leaf... After getting through the stuff I am knowing for sure is safe to be rid of, do go through your cooking ingredients and figure out what you can get rid of. All this bait? This is a lot of bait. I assume you're a big fisher from all this? It might be time to move this to your main or chokeable bag, once those are cleaned, and get the fishing stuff up. Though I think these are just from random fishing quest rewards? Why hold on to these? Rat tails, blood worms, lug worms? Are these the leeches from the ocean fishing boat? Go do some boat or get rid of it. Most of this can be obtained from a random vendor or right on the boat. If you're big fishing, go try it. If you're not, this is all trash. Finally, we have these two die. They're rare die, so I won't inherently say to sell them off, but if you're not ever planning to use them, and these are the sellable kind, do it. You don't need to keep dyes. Most are super easy to obtain, and most of it you're probably not using. Is that what is on the first page? A page full of dyes? You don't need that much dye. Get rid of some of it. Obviously, I can't know for sure because you didn't show me it all. This is why I need everything shown, to help you as best I can. Your armory chest is barely shown, the most I could say is to get rid of the old weapons and store the unused relics. You can't hide away if you want help. You need to open up, in multiple ways. It's time to let go. It's time to stop hoarding. In the month since Wesk put on his detective hat, Carmina was seen creating another mystery, chopping logs in the dead of night. Rumors began to circulate that there was a hammerbeak wandering the forest. When finally investigated, all the wood whalers found was Carmina. As for the mystery of her inventory, the answer may never be known. Thanks for watching Eorzean Hoarders. Subscribe for more and for more properly structured guides. Support the show and the channel with my Patreon. Can also follow my Twitch where I'll be playing lots of other games, including all the Final Fantasies or my general gaming channel, Wes Gaming. Can follow my Twitter for random updates or commentary. Take care and may the power of Anadid Hogsley Waste to your inventory. In addition, thank you to everyone who submitted for this series, and an extra special thanks to all my patrons. Thank you in particular to Astrid Weller, Ayman al Khatib, Benjamin Hahn, Benjamin Haynes, Benjamin Rice, Sadia Diosasan, Serix, Ethan Olson, 
Ethan W, Fraser97, James Hall, Jericho, Kevin Lowe, Mizella, Nick Griffin, T Rogue, Timmy, and Zero Two. See you all for next episode.